the police Survival of the fittest, bitch! As I said, little man, I'm gonna handle you personally. I ain't gonna get to no samurai shit with you, man. I want it. <laughs> there's steel, and then there's my Shinto sword. Cuts through bone like butter. I can't believe this shit! Here I come! I'm gonna bleed you like a pig, pig! <laughs> I got more pants! I got more pants! Touches my Shinto. Prepare to bleed, boy. Ha, I got more pants. Damn, this can shit against that armor. I told you you'd get handled, boy. Ah! Ah. Okay, it's time to get serious. Enter if you dare! You didn't really think it would be that easy, did you? Draw your last breath.
Over here. Uh. Ha! Oh! Benjamin, Lionel, whatever. Who's your hookup at the department? Paying off our hookup in cash, but he makes us change the drop every time. The bastard calls himself El Jefe. We cool now, officer? Okay. It's all starting to come together. You're under arrest. Ready to take on New York's most powerful Chinese gang? Oh, China, you know, you really should go one day. You haven't lived until you've eaten out in China. Just watch out for the crabs. Little joke, son. Did you miss it? Anyway, one Uncle Benny used to run the Chinese tongue out of Chinatown for years, had the knockoff merchandise market cornered. Then, two years ago, he just vanished off the radar. His adopted American-bred cocky, insolent son Leland Shen took control, and suddenly all bets are off. Shen voided all Benny's agreements, began extorting local businesses, but worst of all, he brought the sweatshops back to Chinatown. See, this kid Shen is one brutal son of a bitch. He's got his syndicate sewn up so tight, there's no way to get close to him. There is one chance, though, his stepsister Vivian, a real rebel of a girl, she recently ran off with some freak, and Shen's been unable to find her. My sources have her pegged at Market in Madison for taking in a goth commune. You bring her back to Shen, it might just get you into his good graces. What the hell? 